Welcome to this new video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video, we will show how to use BuildRoot to build Linux kernel and create root file system. We will do some customization and prepare bootable SD card and boot Linux kernel on BeagleBone Blackboard. So, relax and watch this video till the end. We have already created a video tutorial which demonstrates installation of BuildRoot. I will not go in details about installation of build root. You can refer to the video, link is given in description. In that video tutorial we have shown using build root to generate Linux kernel for QEMU. In brief we have to download build root. We are using buildroot.tar file. Installation of build root is very simple. Simply extract downloaded build root tar file and make sure all dependencies are met. For this refer build root manual file. Let us talk about use of build root. Build root actually is a build system, we have to provide configuration files to build root system, and based on that build root will regenerate Linux kernel image. Build root can also generate a root file system and bootloader. We will also use build root to generate a cross compiler for the host machine. Build root requires configuration files to work. We have to provide configuration files for kernel. See library. You boot. And device tree. Based on config files, build root will generate images. In the output. Image directory. Output of build root will be kernel image which is Z image. And root file system. And device tree binary files. Which is AM335X. Bone black. Dot. DTB. Compiler and sysroot will also be available in output. Image directory. Cross compiler name is ARM. Build root. Linux hyphen. UC libc. GNUEABI. GCC. These cross compiler binaries are available in output, host, and bin directory. Sysroot is also available in output, host, compiler name, and sysroot directory. As we told earlier, build root requires configuration files. For BeagleBone Blackboard, we will give BeagleBone underscore def config. And this config file will automatically select following config files. For Linux kernel, it will select OMAP2 plus, def config file. For devices tree, it will select AM335X bone black file. For toolchain, for example for libc, it will select uc libc ng.config file. For target package, we will use busybox. So, config file name is busybox.config. And for bootloader, for you boot, AM335XEVM file is selected. Let us see steps to use build root. First, we have to create configuration files suitable to our board. We need to create config file, for example kernel config file, cross compiler configuration file. Instead of creating file from scratch, we can use the existing def config file. And after later modify some option to suite our board. After that step is simple. Just, use make command. For this demonstration, I am going to use an existing configuration file. File name is beaglebone diff config. To generate dot config file, use make beaglebone def config. To review generated dot config file and review all settings, we will use make menu config. This will open configuration window. Through this window, you will able to choose relevant config option. Let us now go to my Linux machine. We are now in Linux machine. And first I will run make dist clean. This will delete existing files, generated from previous build. Now we are good to go. Now let us run make beaglebone underscore def config. Now config is done. And you can see .config file is generated. You can open this file, 
in the text editor. I am opening this file in Kate editor. This is a text file, which is having all the options related to build root. It has automatically selected Cortex A8 and VFP V3D16 option. Floating ABI selected option is hard. You can review this file in other method, that is the make menu config. And this is the build root version. We will be able to review the option. Let me open my presentation in parallel to this. We are going to modify these options in the system configuration. Host name we will make build root hyphen EC. At system banner we will add name embedded craft. Root password will be root. Let us move forward. This is target options category. No modification in target option. Let us go to target options. All settings are already as per our requirements. Target CPU is ARM. Target binary format is ELF. CPU is Cortex-A8, that is okay to us. We are not going to change anything here. Now next, let's to go to my presentation. In the build option, again no change. In build option, so we are not going to change anything here. But you can review these options. Now let us go to toolchain. In toolchain we are also saying no change. We will not make any change here. But you should review all options. If you want to change toolchain name and you can change vendor name here. If you want to change C library, you can change C library here, but I am not going to change anything here, let us keep it default. You can also use ulibc. So no change, keep it default. In system configuration, we need to make some changes. Here we will change host name and we will change system banner. Host name we have to make build root hyphen EC. Let us change host name. Next change which I am going to make here is our system banner. In system banner, we will add embedded craft. Let us modify it. Let us move to kernel configuration. In kernel configuration, again there is no modification. We can review these settings, like kernel path. Actually we are going to use kernel version, 4.19.79. You can build with the latest version of kernel. And the kernel binary format is zimage. In kernel configuration, an important thing is kernel config file, which is omap2+, this can be changed. You can change kernel configuration name here. Now we are going to target package. We have to select busybox for command line utilities. Here is busybox configuration file. You can review it further. For me no change this time. We are going to use file system image. We will leave it as it is. There are file system image, you can see we have x2345 file system option. This is bootloader, in the bootloader also we are not going to make any modification. We have selected uboot. And uboot configuration, you see it is m335x underscore evm, is the configuration file. Host utility will also remain as it is. And same as legacy configuration. Let us save new configuration. Once we are done, let us type make command. And it will start building process. This will take long time depend on our internet speed and selected configuration settings. Let me pause here and resume once build will complete. Now build is complete. We can see generated files in the output directory. 
host side generated files are available in host directory. You need to keep these files in host machine. Let us type ls output slash images. And as you can see this directory has root file system, kernel image, devices tree binary. Let us review further. Let us add hyphen l here. And enter. You see we have root file system.ext4 which is pointing to rootfs.ext2. Let me show you size of each file. For this we have to add h along with l and ls command. Now we can see z image size is 5.9 MB. Root file system tar size is 17 MB. Here is the overview of generated outputs. For host, buildroot will generate cross compiler binaries with sysroot. And for target side, buildroot will generate root file system, device tree binary and kernel z image files. Now we are ready to prepare a bootable SD card. We have to connect the board with serial port. Here is my setup. In my setup, for serial port I am using TTL to USB converter. We have to insert SD card to the board. My board is powered via USB interface. First we have to create two partitions on our SD card. First partition, will be of fat type and size will be 128 MB. In, second partition, where we will load root FS, it will have Linux EXT4 file system. And my SD card size is 32 GB, so the length of this partition will be 32 GB minus 128 MB. So, let us connect the SD card to host machine via USB card adapter. First we have to find out SD card dev number which Linux kernel will assign. Linux will automatically detect SD card, we see in notification. Let us see which dev it is assigned to our card. We have to type ls ltr slash dev, pipe grep hyphen isd. sdb is my existing disk, sdc is my sd card. If you want to ensure, just remove your sd card and run same command. Observe that sdc has disappeared. And if I reconnect card, run same command, and you see sdc is visible now. So, dev sdc is our sd card. Our SD card actually is having two partitions already, one is SDC1 and another is SDC2. Ok, now we have to remove existing partitions of SD card. We will use dd command to remove the existing partition. Commands I have already noted down, let me copy command and paste. Go back to our terminal and paste, and, enter. And we have to enter password. So, we have removed existing partition of SD card. Now we are ready to create new partitions. We will use cfdisk command. Type sudo cfdisk and slash dev slash sdc. We have to select DOS here, as we can see in our slide. Now we have to create partitions. Select new to create new partition. First partition size is 128 MB. Write 128 M here. Select partition types as, primary. And, partition type will be FAT, FAT. I am going to select FAT16. It may be FAT16 or FAT32, it does not matter. We have to make this partition as bootable. So, set bootable flag. Ok, we have to create second partition. Again, select new to create new partition. As you can see, tool has automatically selected remaining size. Second partition size will be 29.6 GB. And partition type is Linux. Now select right to write this partition table. Select yes. And now we can quit. So, our partition is done. Let us view all partitions we have just created. For partitions, we have to type cat proc partitions, I have to focus on SDC. So type grep SDC. 
As you can see we have two partitions, partition number 1 is SDC1 and partition number 2 is SDC2. That's it. Now we will format our first partition. Type sudo mkfs.vfat mkfs.vfat hyphen f32 and hyphen n boots ladev sdc1 Oh, we got error message. Okay, it means we have to unmount our SD card partitions. Type, you mount media embedded craft boot and you mount media embedded craft root fs now, we can type same command mkfs.vfat hyphen f32 hyphen n boots ladev sdc1 formatting done to format second partition, type mkfs.ext4 hyphen l root fs and hyphen e no discard slash dev slash sdc2 Press enter. Type Y. Done. Now the second partition is also formatted. Remove and reconnect SD card. This should mount partitions automatically. We can see a notification pop up in bottom right. Now SD card partitions are mounted. Here is our SD card should look like to boot Linux. In first partition, we will have MLO. You boot IMG, Zimage, and AM335X Bone Black DTB file. Second partition will have root file system. So, we have to copy MLO. You boot IMG, Zimage, and DTB file to boot partition. I have already written commands to copy all files. First we will copy MLO file. So, copy and paste. MLO is copied. Now we will take command to copy you boot in file. Paste it. Now let me take command to copy image file. We will paste it here. And finally device tree binary. And Paste. Now, we are coping command to extract root fs in second partitions. This will extract root fs to second partition. Paste. And enter password. All is done. As you can see in presentation, our SD card content should be like this. Let us see content of SD card. We are going to media. Embedded craft boot directory type dolphin dot this will open boot directory in dolphin file browser. As you can see, we have all files according to presentation. Let us close this. We will go to rootfs directory and type dolphin dot command. Now we have rootfs which is same as shown in my slides. Insert SD card into the board. Now we have to connect board with serial port. We will use TTL to USB adapter for serial port. And PicoCom utility as serial terminal. First we have to give permission to dev to USB. Type sudo chmod a plus rw slash dev to usb 0 entering password for my account going to start picocom serial terminal type picocom hyphen p 11 which is baud rate slash dev to usb 0 now terminal is ready switch on the board by pressing s2 key this will make board to boot from external sd card not from the internal EMMC card. Board is booting. Press space key to stop board at bootloader. Now let us see our files in SD card. For this type MMC dev. 
This will take us to MMC0 partition. Type MMC list. This is list of all MMC cards. Our card is SDMMC0. To see content of first partition, type LS MMC0 colon 1 and press enter. So, we have MLO file. You boot. Zimage and device tree file. Let us see content of second partition. MMC0 colon 2 is second partition. In this partition we have bin, dev and all other directories. Now we have to load Zimage to RAM at location 82 million. For this command is fat load. I am going to copy command. Copy and paste. As you see, file is copied to RAM. Now we are coping DTB file to 88 million location in RAM. Paste command in terminal. As you see, DTB is also copied. So, we have copied Z image at 82 million location in RAM. And, we have copied DTB file to 88 million location in RAM. Next step is we have to set you boot environment variable to pass argument to kernel. This command I have already copied, coping it, and paste. So here, we are telling to kernel that rootfs is available in dev MMC block 0p2 location. Rootfs type is ext4. Finally, Boots command will boot Linux kernel from location 82 million and device tree it will find at 88 million location in RAM. Pasting command in terminal. Wow, now the Linux kernel is booting. You can see kernel banner has embedded craft in name. Login password is root. Type you name hyphen A. You see my system name is build root hyphen EC. And this is our build date. So, that's it. We have seen compiling of Linux kernel, to preparing bootable SD card. And we have used uBoot to boot Linux on our board. With this we are going to end this session. If you like our video, Please don't forget to subscribe to Embedded Craft YouTube channel. We will meet in our next video tutorial. Meanwhile goodbye and take care.